Tonight, the theater world and Hollywood are mourning the loss of John Mahoney. The actor, best known for playing the cranky dad on Frasier, died Sunday at the age of 77. And as CBS 2's My Martinez reports, among those remembering Mahoney tonight, many who worked with him were right here in Chicago. Outside the Steppenwolf Theater, the marquee was dark in memory of John Mahoney, and the opening night performance of You Got Older was canceled. Inside, members of the theater comforted each other and struggled to come to terms with Mahoney's death. It was devastating. I, you know, John's been struggling with some health issues uh, for the last little period of time, but we really thought he was doing better, and he thought he was doing better. From the small screen to the big screen, Mahoney was always at home, but it was on stage that he really came alive, a passion he didn't discover until his late 30s. When John finally did find it, there was nowhere else he wanted to be. He was so comfortable on stage. It was like a fish to water. As artistic director at the Steppenwolf Theater, Anna Di Shapiro worked with Mahoney for three decades. She says despite his fame, Chicago was always Mahoney's home, and he he was devoted to the theater community and helping other actors succeed. He was always wondering what he could do to help people around him through his scene. For someone to take the time um, to share uh, that work ethic and the, to share um, that kindness on set um, sets an example that like we can do it too. CBS2 theater critic Chris Jones says Mahoney had that impact on many. Chicago lost a truly great actor. He was a modest guy in a way that so few people are. You know, he had the chance. He could have been in Hollywood. He could have been living large in Malibu. He could have been living on Central Park West and he greatly preferred Oak Park. He used to say to me that he was never happy unless he was home in Chicago. And tonight, many who knew Mahoney are remembering him on social media. Steppenwolf co-founder Gary Sinise tweeted in part, it was a great pleasure to know him and work with him. From Mora and I, rest in peace, old friend. And actor John Cusack tweeted, he, all was, he always said it took him a long time to find out what he loved, and he loved performing. Blessed to know him. Mm -hmm. Now, despite the outpouring of love and condolences, Anna Di Shapiro says Mahoney recently made her promise that the Steppenwolf would not hold a memorial for him when he died. Erica, she says that's a promise they plan to keep, but she also says there's likely going to be a lot of Irish wakes. Oh, so many people want to celebrate him. Yes. He such, seems like such a humble guy. He After was. Everyone that talked with him, all the fame and everything, and he would sit down, have tea and a scone with you, yeah. and was always there to help guide those younger actors. Wow. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.